This is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Today we're going to look at six benefits from eating an avocado. Now notice I took this out of a fruit bowl. It is a fruit. It is not a vegetable. It's actually a stone fruit. And the green meat offers 20 vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and plant chemicals, and healthy fats. And every cell in our body needs healthy fats. Healthy fats help to boost the immune system, and as we'll see, do so many other things. The first benefit is for your eyes. Avocados help to protect your eyes because they contain lutein. And lutein is known as a protector of eye health. Lutein, when you take it or when you eat it in a form like this, it actually deposits in the retina, protecting it from free radicals while filtering out harmful UV rays. And it also helps to regenerate healthy eye cells, which prevents macular degeneration and cataracts. Let's look at benefit number two. Avocados help to maintain a healthy heart because they contain a natural plant sterol called beta cystosterol, which has been shown to maintain healthy cholesterol levels. The fat in this is raises your what we call HDL, your healthy cholesterol, which lowers your bad cholesterol or the LDL that we don't want too much of. These avocados also contain potassium, which can help to lower blood pressure. So con you know, consider this a heart-healthy fruit. Benefit number three, avocados help control diabetes. Now, I don't keep it a secret that I'm a type two diabetic, but one who totally controls this type two diabetes with diet, exercise, and lifestyle. And this is one of the ways that helps. Because the healthy fats and soluble fiber in this help with your blood sugar stabilization. And that's important. Fat, like protein, will not spike your blood sugar. And the monosaturated fat in this can help your body utilize insulin more efficiently. And we all need that as we get older. Benefit number four, avocados increase nutrient absorption. Healthy fats, the green meat in here, increase nutrient absorption, not just from the avocado itself, but also whatever else you eat with it. This is why I put half an avocado in my smoothie every single day, because I want to absorb all the nutrients of the proteins and other plant chemicals and fruits and vegetables. So this goes in my smoothie every single day for that reason. Benefit number five, avocados have been shown that they may prevent cancer in research. They contain vitamin C, vitamin E, and folate. And the plant chemicals and all this combined together help to prevent cancer. The phytochemicals inhibit the growth of both precancer and cancer cells and help with what we call the death of cancer cells while encouraging the growth of immune system lymphocytes. We all need to take care of our lymphocytes. Now, the green meat in here also is great for preventing skin cancer and prostate cancers. So that might save you a trip to the dermatologist. Let's look at the last but not least. Avocados help support brain function. Can you imagine? eating an avocado from the time you're a baby? I certainly didn't. I didn't eat an avocado. I didn't, hadn't even heard of it until I was like 40 or 50 years old. 
when I learned about how nutritious they were and I found them in guacamole. Well, I want to tell you, my granddaughter, Ashlyn, at six months old, her first food was avocado and she would get it all over her mouth, all in her fingernails, but she loved it. It was her favorite food. And what a great way to boost brain development in a growing child. What about an aging adult? Or really, anyone in between? We all need this healthy fats for our brain function. A few things we need to think about when we talk about avocados. The daily limit is a half to one avocado, and here's the reason why. Just this can be two to 300 calories, determining, you know, based on the size, okay? And it's very nutrient dense and it's good for you, but we must approach fats with moderation. Also, if you are on the FODMAP diet and your doctor has put you on that, they're probably gonna limit or tell you to avoid avocados. As well as if you're on blood thinning medications, because of the high amounts of vitamin K, your doctor will have guidelines for you on this as well. All I can say is pass the guacamole. That's one great way to eat this. Another great way is to put it in soups. We had it in our Mexican chicken soup this week. Put it on top of salads, slice it on sandwiches, or drop it in the smoothie every day. You figure out a way, but really and truthfully, this is one fruit that can help keep the heart doctor, the brain doctor, the eye doctor, the dermatologist at a little bit further distance away at least. Are you using this every day to boost your immune system and for your good health? I hope that you are. I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel that you will like this video, you'll share it with others, and click the notification bell so that you will know when I post another video. Until then, here's to your good health.